On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk about gas leaks. Uh, when we spend a lot of time in a boiler room, you know, there's a lot of smells, chemical smells, metal smells, stuff like that. But um, sometimes we'll, we'll suspect that we smell gas or somebody will come in and, and say that they smell gas. And we, we certainly don't want to ignore that. And one of the tools that we've got to uh, check for gas leaks are just electronic gas detectors. First important detail with these is that if you if you have one make sure to read and follow the instructions. Uh, in general we want to calibrate these and power them up outdoors so that we're not calibrating them in a potentially gas rich environment. Um, and, and what this does is it just detects the gas through a cell on the end of its lead. Because natural gas rises, um, if I'm gonna check this gas train, I'm typically gonna sweep above the gas train. And I wanna take my time and start off above any threaded fittings. And what I'm looking for is an acceleration in the beep or if you've got a meter that has a numerical readout, um, et cetera, it'll pick it up. It is important to keep in mind, this unit's not firing and we've got a safety shutoff valve here. So I don't have pressure forward of that in the gas train. So that portion will have to be checked once we're firing because that valve will be open. We don't wanna forget the pilot line. Oh, and here we are. It looks like we've got a leak in this vicinity. And this is where the, the sweep detecting gets a little less useful because while it can pick up a gas leak at very sensitive levels, um, it's not always as good at zeroing in on that leak location. So a better tool for that is really soap. Um, this isn't soap per se, it's a bona fide gas leak detector, but it works a lot like soap bubbles. So if we spray the gas train in the vicinity of where we've got the leak detected, we can soap all those fittings and connections and we want to give it a nice coating. And that's really the reason that uh, we like to start with the sweeper so that we don't have to soap everything if we don't need to. So we can check that and yeah, I've got gas bubbles coming out of a pilot fitting here. Um, so I can tighten that and then I'll check it again.